Bowls are for winners. You don't get bowls for four and eight. Sprinkles one last time for you, Mike. Hello everyone and welcome to Backseat Sports. I'm Caleb. Josh is away with family. Happy Black Friday. Crazy news. Mike Riley has just been fired. The University of Nebraska has had some buyer's remorse and have decided to return Mike Riley back to Eugene, Oregon, but shipping and handling is very expensive to the tune of millions of dollars. Um, but he's out of here, and thank goodness. <sighs> the Mike Riley saga has finally ended, and as we look back, it is not a pretty one. Uh, Mike Riley was 0-3 against Wisconsin, 0-3 against Iowa, 1-2 against Northwestern, with losses to Illinois, NYU, we were 0-2 against Ohio State, and murdered, if I may say so, and also, we lost to Minnesota, and the list goes on of losses these past three years mike riley goes down as one of the worst decisions in husker program history uh picking him as our head coach just did not make sense whatsoever a 55 percent win coach who is 50 percent here and uh, one of the highlights the crown jewels of, of of all college football we're in top five in wins in national championships so much history so much prowess so many all-americans so many sellouts and yet here we are with mike riley as our coach uh just it he did not fit Nebraska football he was not ready or prepared his experience he did not have any experience under the lights that are as bright as Nebraska it's just a whole different animal when you enter kind of the hollowed ground that is Husker football he brought it down to whole new lows we didn't know that we could go the worst you could do as a coach at Nebraska I think is seven wins and get away with it seven wins is okay that means you've beaten pretty much everybody you're supposed to but that means some of those other teams probably maybe had a better year or you were on a rebuild year and so seven wins is kind of the level of tolerance and it could even be eight wins mike riley multiple years was below six wins he wasn't supposed to be bowl eligible but luckily since so many teams couldn't get to to 500 we we squeaked in because of our academic excellence and now it's time to move on. The sprinkles have been shoved in our face, and it's been a horrible three years. It's been a slap to Nebraska football. It's been a pain to watch. And now we get some more excitement, a new head coach, and a new opportunity, and a new page in Nebraska football, and hopefully it's a good one. And it rests solely on the shoulders of Bill Moose and his decision. What he does is going to affect Nebraska football for a long time, and it's a do-or-die choice. We have to get a coach that at least wins seven, has already won 72% of their games or better. If you bring in a coach, bring in a guy who's young and smart and talented enough, who has new ideas, that also understands the culture, that could help us win win. Chip Kelly though has just said that he is only except either UCLA or Florida so that kind of leaves us with Scott Frost and there's some other guys on the table obviously Les Miles if he if he would decide to come here and a few others but it's going to be a tough year for Nebraska football next year as we look at it but I still think we can win seven to nine games next year even as tough as our schedule is there's definitely ways to win. Recruiting is going to be crucial especially coming in as a new coach now that you've had another coach fired it's going to be a very big key thing that we can get some semblance of recruiting next year and keep some guys and I hope that the coach that comes in has a great staff that could be willing to do that let's also hope that the new coach that comes in doesn't just bring in yes men but brings in guys who bring other new ideas to the table that are trying to better the team not okay with status quo that are trying to win that's going to be a key thing for Nebraska football next year so here's to another Nebraska football season just one that's I've just been kind of waiting to get over, which is sad because you look forward to Husker football, great 12 weeks, these three months of the year, a ton of fun, and just such a bitter taste has been in my mouth for the past three years. Talking obviously more about recruits and as coaching stuff comes out more, there'll be tons of excitement, so much debate. And as always, we'd love to hear in your comments, what did you think about this year for Nebraska football? Let us know down in the comments below. Always like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm Caleb, Josh is somewhere, and this has been Backseat Sports. We'll see you next video.